Nigeria is a country blessed with rich cultural heritage, which makes it an envy to others. Most of these cultures are not to be toyed with. One of the cultures is the manner of respect they have for one another in whatever occasion. Respecting one another is important in relationships, for it is a virtue that distinguishes humans from animals and one of the ways to maintain relationships. To respect people implies acknowledgement of their existence and also a way of being good and kind to others. Respect is just like an honor to somebody. When somebody comes to you and says, I respect this man, is an honor to you. When someone has respect for others, he treats them in the same way he would want to be treated. In different ethnic groups in Nigeria, showing respect can be as simple as being polite. Also, as simple as respect may seem, it is very important when it comes to building an individual's reputation. In the southeastern Nigeria, the Igbo people, who happen to be one of the major ethnic groups, show respect in various ways, such as paying off homage to a traditional ruler as a mark of respect, as well as bowing down to greet a traditional head. To facilitate the giving of respect in Igbo land, elders are expected not to compromise or tell lies as these can make younger ones speak against such ills which can easily be seen as disrespectful in the Nigerian context. One unique tradition of showing respect in Igbo land is referred to as Naoche or Nwadiana. The tradition makes it possible for a young man to be greeted by an elder. When such elder comes to the young man, he takes a little bow by expecting a pat on the shoulder from the young man as a sign of subtle recognition and respect to the young man. Mwadiala is son of the soil. You understand? So when you are called son of the soil, you are a, what we call it in Igbo, a purepu. They don't dispute you in any aspect of life. Whatever they will do, they will have to summon you for you to give your own you know, reason and how you observe what is going on. And when you are there, you are being recognized as an Inoche. People that are not from the evil race may see this as disrespectful, but in truth, it is not. Naturally, children of the Igbo origin show signs of respect to their parents and elders alike by way of greetings, assistance, seeking for advice, obedience, and so on. There is our culture. Because when you train a child, when he was small, you have to train him or her. In a way, you should see an, an elder. You have a respect to him. Like my, I use my children as an example. When my children woke up in the morning, they know what I need. If they, if, they, if they did not give me the honor, I would not be happy with them. All of them, they will come to me in the morning. Outside. And I say, I'm outside. It's same like that because mothers and fathers, we have to give us our children the full respect. So they will learn from us and know how to respect each other. It's our culture, if I may say. In the aspect of marriage, when one is of age or married, one is accorded respect by both young and old alike and thus partake in discussions with his kinsmen and participate in meetings with elders. In similar vein, those who have contributed immensely to the development of a particular community are recognized with titles as a mark of respect for their contributions. In Igbo land as well, there is a special respect accorded to every first son or daughter in all families. In Igbo land, the first son, they respect him because he's after the father. When the father is not in, he will be the father. Then the first daughter represents the, mom, the mother. When the mother is not around, he will be, she will be the mother. And again, in our place, when they kill like fowl in a family, as a first son, you will eat the head. And the, daughter, the first daughter will eat the waste to show that this is the first daughter and this is the first son. So they reserve that part for them. A lot of people who may not be grounded in the Igbo tradition may think that they are less respectful than their counterparts. 
But I tell you, the Igbo people boast of one of the richest traditions and customs that revel the culture of respect among the ethnic groups in Nigeria. <laughs>